Okay, can everybody hear me? Uh, obviously, there's no there's no shorts today. Uh, market is up. In vaccine news. Um, I think the market could be played today as a day trade, but uh, I'm not sure if it follows through tomorrow. It's really going to depend on the bank earnings. I, I, I might go along this market here if, I, if the banks didn't report tomorrow morning, but because they do, and this isn't absolutely perfect as far as the market gap up, I'm, I'm going to wait on it. I do think Apple's along today, and so let's watch Apple here as a day trade. This is strong. It's going to go to 400. Is anyone in the Tesla calls? I don't. I don't know why you would be, quite frankly. And this is for people in the options letter. I. I don't know why you would still be in them. I felt like a 99% chance that they would continue, but in the 1% chance that the market would gap down Monday, which it did not do, they would have collapsed. And it was just too big of a trade and too much money and too fast and too quick. It would have been gambling to hold that. But it is up 100 points from the close. Uh, I really felt like it was probably going to continue, but if the market would be down, then it wouldn't have. So it was like, it was just it was just too too big on Friday. But but it is up, and it's up a hundred points. Yeah, I mean, if you if you held that, you were gambling. But if you did, it paid off. I've 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 done that at different times in my career, and sometimes it's paid off, sometimes it hasn't, and so I've just stopped doing it. Just kind of like we don't really do we don't really do trades into earnings anymore unless I'm like absolutely certain like a hundred percent not ninety nine percent. So if we're gonna watch this apple here. I don't know if we're gonna be aggressive or not. And to be honest with you, I'm not sure how it's gonna set up because I really don't know if the market necessarily is gonna follow through today in the morning. Um, it may fail. So this is a wait and see kind of day here. There is no earnings and there's definitely no shorts. And um, but I feel like this is on its own. And I feel like this doesn't need the market. And I don't think this even needs the market this week, this Apple, so just so you know. So we're gonna kind of sit here and watch this Apple and then we're gonna decide what we're gonna do it. But this is a long today for the new people. And our earnings season starts tomorrow, so I don't think there's any reason to get heavy handed today. So let's see. Okay, stopping this is gonna be 380, 387.75. Let's do 390 by 387.75, 390. Here, you can hit it, you can hit it. Just make sure you size yourself right. You can do it, again. just as long as you size yourself right, go for it. 387.75, it's a little big, but I think that's gonna hold. Um, I did not like anything else today. I Let's let's focus on this right now. Um, I didn't like any of the earnings, I don't know what to say. We gave this a wild, wide room here though. Stop is 387.75 if you're in it. And if you're not, you can still do it. Oh, let's take a look at the cues. So probably what's gonna happen here if the market decides to hold today, we'll run up to here. Or we'll drop and then swing around, run up to here. Again, I'm not playing this because the banks report tomorrow morning and this isn't good enough to do on its own. If the banks fail, that won't hold. So it's, it's really a critical day, which I did say on the Ameritrade. Here we go. Focus on what we're doing here. First target's 392, but doesn't get over that, I'm out. Done. Call it the beginning of the earnings season and a nice play here into the open. Here. Here, it's going to get up to 391. Dream target on this today is 395. And possibly 400 could even happen today. Ideally, this will do kind of what Tesla did Friday. Go right away, and then we'd be out of the whole thing because I don't know what happens tomorrow. Do you know what I'm saying?
it's good to take some time off. It's good for me. I think I see things clear when I when I get breaks. It's better for me. It's better for all of you. It's a nice call. And a good decision here not to be aggressive on the market, I mean. There wasn't anything here. Yeah, it's just, I, I, I didn't like this. I really didn't like anything this morning but this, and it's working, so. To be honest with you, we could have been more aggressive with the entry, and we could have been more aggressive with the stop. I just didn't want to do that today. <laughs> Wanted the confirmation. So again, this is how longs are. You could have shaved some out or you're following it through. This is how longs are. I was good on Ameritrade. They always give me time to talk, yeah. I, CBS gives me time to talk too. I like longer segments. Here we go. 390.88. Try to let it run up. Let's take a look at Tesla, even though it's, it's, I mean, this is just completely insane. I mean, I, for about five seconds, I thought about doing this again today, Target 2000, but it's just, I, I didn't even look at what the cost was. Like, it's, it's probably ridiculous. I didn't have a hundred percent conviction, but I am here, 1800 here, this is going. I'm just, I'm just going to pass. That opened more than 100 points from the close on Friday. All right, here we are. Apple. Oh, you know what? I didn't look at Amazon today. Yeah, you kind of got out of all the BAs last week. But if you're still in the BAs, I think you're fine no matter what. Uh, let's look at Amazon. You could have just taken the profit on them, though. It's so important to book your profits. It's just, I can't tell you how important that is. Market's too volatile right now. And that's kind of what I'm looking for. Here, we got to pay attention. That's kind of what I'm looking for here with in the next, you know, in the next couple of weeks. Like everything looks rosy and peachy and fabulous and beautiful with this market. I'm not convinced. And I'm not saying we're not gonna we're not gonna play it long, but I'm not convinced. Here we go. Let's see if we can get this as close as we can to 392 and watch how it acts. Nice call. Uh, it was down last week at 175. It had a sell off, but it is just showing so much weakness here, which I love. Um, was up today because of the market. I mean, once again here, just loving this thing. Just the absolute top short of the year. And probably Tesla's the top long now. Calls we did at the beginning of the year and the one from Friday. I mean, here we go. Apple, 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 Apple. We're going to get it up to 392. Pay attention, everyone. Dream target today is 395 and possibly 400. So you're really on your own if you want to hold it that long. Here, hand in the button here to watch how this acts at 392. Here. There, it went over it. Come on. Come on. Here, yes. Beautiful, wonderful. I'm going on vacation more often. 
If that means we have 100% wins, it's all good. Here we go. Here. Watch it over. See if we get it over 40. See if we can get up to 50. Come on. Out, out. I'm out. I'm out. Beautiful call. Beautiful call. Beautiful day. Great way to start earning season. Gyro did a fabulous job, I heard. I heard he was fabulous. So thank you to Gyro. Here, this is at 67. Great day. Um, in fact, let's look at that one you guys did that was really, really good. So happy when I look back at this then I said oh this this earning season for us is going to be normal because the last quarter was bizarro world but it's like I said it was the earning season that never happened but when I see things like this from last week I say oh we're back to normality in the market again the world isn't normal yet but the but earning season will be for us I mean what a move look at that did any of you hold it down to eight I mean that was a target dream target and it went to it it broke it Beautiful. Okay, who's doing what? Is anyone still in the day trade for Apple? Again, you can still be in the option. I called the option this morning. Is anyone still in the day trade? It's trying really hard to get up to 393. Jackie's out. Here, it's gonna get to 393. Look at that. Wow. Matthew got out. Here, it's going to get there. It just got over it. Woo! Look at that. This is going to get to 395 today for those of you in the option. You got to watch it. Wow. If this gets to 395, here, here's my, and I called the calls in this for the people in the options letter. If this gets to 395 by 10 a.m. Eastern time, it will get to 400 today. Now you know. I talked to Zen Trader on Friday. I said, this Tesla is going to make the move today. I was right. But this thing here is completely insane. Completely. What else did I want to look at? Netflix. All right, let's see what's up on tap for tonight. Great job, everyone. And if you're still in Apple, bar by bar it. Bar by bar the world. these things and some of these things in so long because I was off just needed a break yeah I I did not look at this I didn't even look at this Friday so this broke out Friday had a beautiful move this is headed to 600 look at that Again, I'm really gonna tiptoe here, the stuff we're doing into, into the banks this week, but I felt very confident this would go today, and it did. So again, if you're still in this as a day trade, bar by bar it, I don't know if anyone is, you can still be in the option. This is a beautiful trade. And I think the Qs are gonna go to 270, and that's, pro so probably that's gonna happen today. I think, I didn't call any trades in this, because I just didn't. See how this is struggling. Let's look at this. Any questions from anybody about anything today? Any questions about anything you guys did last week? Let me look at what's out for tonight. Uh, nothing tonight. Yeah, the diamonds aren't moving. Okay, so Citibank, JPM, Wells Fargo tomorrow morning. Let's take a look at those charts. Let's take a look at them.
So here's my take on this. I'm going to go over these banks and let everybody go and call it a day. If the banks do well tomorrow, market's going to fly, blow it, blow up, poof, like that. If the banks fail, gap down, the SPY will too. That'll be the end of the move up in the queues, even though we made new highs today. And then again, we're going to have, we're going to continue in this volatile range for God knows how long into the end of the summer, which I predicted to begin with. We've been in a range for a month as of today, more than a month in the SPY. And we're really still in that range even this morning. So the indices are not looking, matching up. And there's many, many reasons for that, but because I don't know how these are gonna report, we're gonna wait on the mar any market trades, but Apple is great. There seems to be a consensus that earnings seasons will be bad, my thoughts. My thoughts are, I don't know. My thoughts are, if you want my honest thoughts, I don't think that's gonna be the case. My honest thoughts are that some things, listen, listen, I did say this in Ameritrade. I think I did. Some things are going to be worse than expected. Some things are going to be better than expected. Therefore, you have to wait. In other words, like some things you're going to think are going to be bad and then they're not going to be because you're going to think that they're bad because of COVID, but then they won't be. And then some things that you think are going to be good may not be. Like, for example, Amazon may not have good earnings, but you might think that they will because they're one of the places that's been making money all along the way. You can't forget about the fact that there's more going on here than COVID, you know. There's just so much going on right now in all these companies, changes and consolidation and layoffs and money that they have had to spend on COVID for PPE. And finally, the news in the last week, I was almost shocked, at least Fox News did, on their shows, started to cover what's happening in New York, which I have been talking about for the last four to five weeks with friends and family, and I did share with you guys before the holiday. I can't believe that finally, finally the news is covering it. I was glad to hear that. I don't know if it's going to mean anything to any of the government leaders in New York, but it was glad at least it's, you know, finally people are covering it. Your hope is that earnings will matter this quarter. They're going to matter. I don't know what you mean by matter. We're going to get trades. Is that what you mean? It's not going to be like last quarter. We can tell that already. I can tell that already. Things are moving. Things are having follow through. Apple, Tesla, the longs are following through that are good. The shorts are following through that are not good. BBY, BA, do you know what I'm saying? I can tell we're going to, we're back to normal here. I can tell already. I don't even have to wait till tomorrow morning. I can tell. I can tell. I could tell that the last two weeks, quite frankly. But again, that doesn't mean that you risk the farm and hold Tesla over a weekend when anything can happen with these vaccines or China or whatever. So we will have opportunity to make money. That I know. And these banks pretty much like all look the same here. Some are worse than others, though, I will say that. Wells Fargo looks worse. Here, let's look at Goldman. When is that? Yeah, it meant little for us because we didn't get the playthroughs. We're lucky that we had the things that we had to do because of COVID. But I definitely, I, I can tell you right now, it's going to be a good time to trade. This summer, it's going to be a normal earning season like we usually have. I can tell already the way I see things acting, that is great news for us. This goes for the longs and the shorts. This isn't just the shorts. And we go long. Obviously, we went long Apple today. That was an earnings. But I, I knew that that was going to 400. And I really, I, we could have done a call in that last week. I sort of wish I had now. But I didn't want to get heavy into stuff again last week over the end of the weekend. Um, let me look when this is. I saw Trump put tires in French luxury bags. Do, 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 do. I saw that. Let me look up, look up Goldman. So what's everybody doing here? What's everybody here doing with this? As far as the day trade goes, I think you really got to be out of this. I got out of this before it hit over 394. And, you know, but again, this looks like it's really going to continue in a nice move up today to 395 if you're in the option. Or you could have got out of it here, quite frankly. You could have just got out of it. Or you can get out of it one more push over the high if you want. But it could get to 400 today because it's had such a big move so early. We're literally, literally not even 20 minutes into the open and look what it did. And the, mar the market's going to hold up today, just tomorrow. Now, 
let me look up when Goldman is. And then let me look up when Netflix is. Like, there's going to be some surprises. So don't just remember, we're reading the gaps. We're not reading the fundamentals. Because if you read the fundamentals, like in all seriousness, let me just look up Goldman, you'd say, how on earth could the market be at brand new all-time highs when millions of people are out of work? In fact, since last week, let me look up what that number is. Wednesday, we have Goldman. July 16th is Netflix. Oh, that's this week. Yeah, that's Thursday night. That's good. Eleven percent is the unemployment rate. It's still an awful lot of people, so. You know. Let's just do what, what, you know, I'm very good at doing. We look at this and we're reading the price action and we read the gap and we go with it. And, you know, and I knew the market was higher today too. Like we could have done the cues, but I really wasn't sure if this was gonna have follow through between today and tomorrow. Although if the banks report well, it will. And I really didn't think it was worth playing the call today because I just didn't think risk to reward wise it was there this was a different story which obviously i like and again you could be out of this completely the option two are you waiting for one more little scoosh up what haven't we looked at yet oh i haven't looked at this any questions from anyone we will have a good summer I'm pretty much holed up here for the rest of the year in New York. It, it's, it's a terrible situation what's going on here. It's a terrible situation. It's the real estate market's in free fall, but no one's aware of it. The city's in free fall. Uh, people are starting to talk about it. I'm finally, um, I've been talking about it for a month. I mean, people are finally talking about it. Even celebrities on social media that live in New York are talking about it. I'm like, finally, I mean, but I don't, I don't see how things are going to get any better unless the mayor does something and he's just refusing to do that. So it's just 1566. No, my gym is not open. No gyms are open in the entire city of New York, the entire state, I guess. I am healthy. I've been on a very strict diet. It's been very difficult and it has improved my health, but it's been so hard. Now, I could adjust it where it's not so hard, but I'm probably not going to be eating any dairy for the rest of the summer. But it really, getting off dairy, it took a while. It wasn't like just stop eating dairy. It was like, it, it, I started feeling better really last week. So it's, it took about two, two weeks, maybe three weeks. It was, I don't know, I, I forget when I stopped, but it, it took a while. It wasn't like that, you know? But I completely, I got in a diet. I'm basically on kind of, I'm pretty much, you know, you call it a cleanse or whatever. Like I'm eating so clean, but that cleared up what was bothering me. Uh, when you have allergies, you can, you just have to cl clear them up. It's not like I'll never be able to eat cheese or dairy again. And I used to eat them all the time and not have a problem. But for whatever reason, it was bothering me and could be because again, I'm indoors and different things bother you. The gyms are filing a class action lawsuit and it's gonna to come to a head this week, so it'll be interesting to see. It'll be interesting to see. But the city is the worst I've ever seen it and it's actually getting worse. It's hard to believe that it could get worse, but it is getting worse. So I have some friends that have been in New York for a long time, like before Giuliani cleaned up the city and he told me it was like this before and the city will get through it, but it's not gonna be this year. 
and I don't know when it's going to be. So the real estate market is going to be in free fall and people are moving out of my building as releases come up. But the building is the building put up an apartment that I was thinking about and they lowered the rent from from back in from back early in the year, but they still didn't didn't they're still not in touch with reality of lowering it to what it's really at right now. So it's kind of like I mean, it's going to be a while till these landlords and the uh, and owners or people trying to sell properties get into to reality because people think that it's once businesses open up it's going to come back but businesses are opening up now and that isn't the really the biggest problem in new york the biggest problem in new york is the crime the homeless people there's someone that's sleeping now listen to this one block down and on my street across the street someone's living on a mattress on the street there's a queen mattress on the street they're sleeping on it they're living on it two homeless people on my street. If I had seen that, I would have never lived here. I would have never lived here. There's a tent city in a garage in the Upper West Side where my friends live. Ten people living in tent city shooting up. Heroin right now apparently is really cheap in the city, my friend told me. And so there's like a tent city in a garage. The city isn't doing anything about it. The homeless people have taken over the streets of New York. You literally would have to step over them to, to walk down the street. That's how bad it is. That's how bad it is right now. It is really, really bad. I've never seen it like it. And it's not pleasant to go out and wear a mask when it's 90 degrees. You can't breathe, you're suffocating. And then you have to step over druggies and homeless people. It's a mess. It's really, really a mess. So I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna put an offer in that apartment. I, I'd like it. I might just email him and say what I think it's worth and tell him, listen, you wanna rent it out? Here's what I'm willing to pay for it. Market's in free fall. You don't want to, you know? You change your mind, let me know. Cause it's like, market's in free fall. So I'm like, well, what should I, what do I think is a reasonable amount? Because the market's in free fall. It's like, it's just, I don't know. Yeah, here goes Apple. I would watch the option. Yeah, I think that the keto ice cream, just anything with dairy. It was just all, it was a dairy allergy, which it took me a while to figure out. All right, listen, let's get organized. We're going to make money this summer. If we're stuck indoors. We're going to make it count. So focus for 2020 is we're going to bank as much money as we can. So any questions from anyone? You love gyro but miss me? Well, that's all positive. I'm sure gyro's doesn't take offense and he does do a good job what did you do Friday did you do anything Friday I don't remember did you tell me gyro I don't remember what did you do Friday was there anything Friday yeah market was market was strong market's been strong here goes Apple look at that 395 is gonna get there Wow this is crazy we almost could have even like scalped it here as a day trade again, but I think you're better off just holding the option up. Listen, have a wonderful day. If you have questions, email me. So just kind of regrouping. The Gap Options course is next Thursday, okay? If anyone wants to do that, if you never did it and you're on the letter, just so you know, you can do that, email me. The Trends course is next Tuesday. I'm doing the Gap class this weekend, I'm here and I'm just here. Just can't go anywhere outside. So it's just really sad. All right, have a good day, everyone. Very good. Thanks, Gyro, for helping.